Well, hello once again and welcome to Simple Software University SIM 209. In this video we're going to take a look at uh, using Simple Index in conjunction with a database. Uh, databases let you do quite a few different things with Simple Index. Uh, for the context of this video we're going to talk about saving out your index data to a database, but you could also use the database as a source for like uh, lists in a drop-down fashion, as we mentioned in our uh, earlier video about uh, the list fields. And also uh, you'll see in the next video working with autofill, you can use a database as a source for actually pulling in some of the data where, for example, if you just read a an account number off of a uh, document, the a database lookup, the autofill, could be used to uh, to, to pull in a, a company name and address and a phone number and that sort of thing. You could automatically fill in fields from that database. But in this one, like I said, we're just going to output, output our data to that database. So for this job, I'm going to use uh, our old friend uh, B1 read invoices with barcodes. Uh, the job's already set up to talk to a database if you go look at it in your samples folder. But what I've done here is actually gone in and cleared it out on the database tab. So this is what you would see if you were creating a job from scratch. You would just come in here and the screen would be set up exactly as you see it here. So a couple things you should know about working with databases. Uh, for starters, Simple Index can tie in to most any database out there. So uh, there are a few types already included in the drop-down list here. So you can tie into uh, MS Access directly into SQL Server, Oracle, MySQL, those sorts of things. Uh, also, if you don't see one in your list here, you can do it via ODBC through a, through a file DSN. You can just connect to your database that way. What we're going to do today is actually, Simple Linux does have a built-in database, so you can create this generic Microsoft Access database here. And you don't even have to have Microsoft Access on your system for this to work. You can just create this back database in the background and use Simple Index to, to both store data and retrieve data to look at your documents later. And we'll talk about that as we go on in the video a little bit. But to, to make this happen, to create this one, we just choose that Create Generic Access Database from the dropdown. Hit the start button, and that's going to launch a little wizard. Tell it yes here. And it's going to ask us uh, where we want to save that database. You'll notice it is a Microsoft Access database, a .mdb. And it defaults to the name Simple Index. I'm going to call it Barcode Invoices, just to separate it from some other database files that we have here already. And it's going to ask if we want to use the relative paths for it. And absolutely, let's do that. So you can see it put in this config file folder, barcode invoices.mdb. And then the next step we have to go through, you'll notice everything's kind of grayed out right now. So we would uh, switch this to whichever mode we need to use. So when we're just creating new records from each of these documents that we're going to read, we would be using insert new records. Uh, we do have options for updating existing records if you want to add uh, you want to image enable an existing database, you could certainly use Simple Index for that, and that would be an updating process. Retrieve and view, we'll look at a little later, is uh, for um, searching for your documents and bringing them up uh, after the fact. And then match and attach, just what it sounds like. You're finding a document, uh, or finding a record, rather, and attaching uh, an image to it. So let's go with insert new records here. You notice that lights everything up. So over here, when we use that, that system that with the generic access database, it, it automatically populates these fields for us. But if you were doing this to your own database, uh, say it was a SQL database, for example, you would just put the data source right here in this line. You type in the path to it, um, and also uh, any credentials, so username and password, that sort of thing. And then once you've entered that and it's made the connection, your tables appear right here. So these are all the tables in that access database. We want to use the documents table. And the same thing, once you've chosen the table, all the fields inside that table show up in these drop downs. So you can see I've got quite a few here. Field 1, and they're just named field 1 through 99 because you can have 99 index fields in Simple Index. And field 3, we'll pull in here. You can see those were already there, though. I'm just going through the steps here. And the output file field, that's saying where do we want to store the location of that scanned document once Simple Index has put it in an output folder and there's a field to store that too and it's called image path. It's right there. 
And then we also have some other fields down here. Um, if you're doing a full text uh, OCR job, you're converting all of the uh, image data into full text, you can actually store all of that text and it can become searchable as well. So that's where this is going. And there's some other fields that are used uh, through different operations and simple index of pages and that sort of thing. But really to get this going, we've done everything we need to do here. So if we hit OK, and I'll save my change there. And then let's run this job real quick and just see what happens. Okay, so that went through and saved out all that information to the database. So if I go in here and look at the barcode invoices database that we created, it's going to open Microsoft Access, go to the Documents tab, and there they are. So these are the two barcode values that were read off of it, and there was a counter that was running there too. And then if we scroll way over to the end here, we've got that image path that I mentioned. So here's exactly where that was saved in a folder with the first barcode as the folder name and then the uh, second barcode as the file name with the counter attached to it there. And we can go look at the output just to confirm what I was saying. So there's 123ABC and then inside is a document abc123-1.tiff. Okay, so now we've put things in a database. What do we do with them? Well, getting it into the search mode is actually very, very easy. Um, we just go back into our job options right here, go over to the database tab, and really we just have to make one change, and that is switching it to retrieve and view records. And it's going to tell you that uh, we need to change a couple of the field types over on the index tab, and that's fine. Just allow it to do that. It wants to set them to a list. Document ID wants to be a list also. And then the counter, same thing. So we just do that. And really, that's all there is to it. I'm going to hit OK here. And then, and very important here, we're going to do a file and go Save As. And now I'm just going to create another job. And it is B2, we'll call it. And this will be our search invoices with barcodes. And save. And that's all there is to it. So you notice our interface looks exactly the same. We're seeing all the things. But here our, our Save Index and Save All buttons have become a search button. So if I want to look for anything in particular, let's say I want to look for Invoice 135 ACE, I can hit that, click the search button, and the results appear in the grid. So if I had multiple ones, there would be several entries here. And then the document itself appears in the lower window. And we can make that a little bigger. That's all there is to it. You want to do another search? You just clear it. Let's go over to Doc ID this time. And you can type these numbers in just as well. You don't have to uh, use the list values. Search. There we go. So that's really kind of all there is to, especially for the uh, the built-in document uh, database that Simple Index has available. But if you wanted to tie it into your own database, as I was saying before, you could certainly do that, and it would work just like you're seeing here. So this is how you use Simple Index, not only as a scanning and index tool, but also as, as a simple document management tool, so that you can retrieve these and uh, find your documents after the fact. Hope this video has been helpful. If you have any questions, as always, contact us on the support line. Thanks for watching.